hey loves welcome back to my channel for today's video as you guys can tell by the title we are going to be talking about all things ready to ship wigs and i'm just here to put all my wig designers wig creators all up on game now one thing that i really do love doing is whenever i learn something new i always want to i don't know to share it or just put other people that are in the same field as me up on game because there's enough money out here for everybody so i really don't mind you know sharing the things that i learned along the way now if you guys don't know what ready to ship units are they're basically self-explanatory they're ready to ship units they're units that can be um, shipped the next day or um, two days after the customer already placed an order so it, it's already like ready to ship you don't have to do anything to it now i did start doing ready to ship units i will say about four months ago about four months ago if not um less than that now i've always seen other wig designers or wig makers you know have like they're like oh they have ready to ship units and stuff like that but me personally it was always something that i really didn't I don't know i felt like i didn't want to start it or i just didn't want to have any inventory or it not sell out so i never wanted to you know waste money on just buying wigs and they don't sell but baby when i tell you i was completely wrong that was the wrong mindset for me to have i would say if you're in the wig designing you know industry or just the wig in general i would highly suggest that you add ready to ship units on your website like that is a must that i've like it was a really big eye opener because when i tell you guys i've made i made probably the most money that i've ever seen because the way that i used to do my um orders was that you know people place the order i order the hair for them and i you know design and everything and i ship it out now we all know that you know i actually would have to wait for the customer to you know place the order and you know for me to do my thing but i actually just out of nowhere i just wanted to you know my vendor was having a sale so i'm like let me just order uh like i think it was about four wigs that i ordered and when i tell you guys now i'm not gonna sit here and say that they all they all um sold out the first day but out of the four or five that i ordered at least three of them sold within that first day and the following day i sold the next one and then the last one um i actually sold a few a few days later which i honestly don't mind because for me my whole mindset when i do you know um stock up on my ready to ship units isn't to just sell out that first day because yes sometimes it would happen sometimes it don't but my whole thing is just to have wigs ready for anybody who is looking for a unit and you know i will just have some units on hand just to sell because because one thing that i really have like you know learned is that we humans do not like to wait we don't like to wait for things and we like things you know quick and you know on hand so the fact that i have you know units on hand they'll most likely you know purchase a unit So the way that I basically do my units or just order for ready to ship units if you guys were interested is most of the time I will have a poll on my you know business account and the customers will literally tell you what they want or what they're looking for and I also pay attention if you do guys if you guys do have Shopify it will tell you you know how many times you know customers view a specific unit or how many times they actually placed it in the cart so i also you know take that into consideration that i know that this is the type of unit that customers are looking for or you know are willing to about to purchase so after i do that i will the first week of the month i will place an order with my vendor five units and after i receive that five unit 
then I will, you know, style it and everything. And then I will post it on the website. And then after I'm down to my two to one unit, that's when I place another five order within that month which basically I do the same thing and which will equal to 10 units a month. Now, this is the way that I do it because there's no really, there's no right or wrong way for you to, you know, do ready to ship units, but this is just personally the way that I do it. And, and it's been working out perfectly. Again, like I was saying, there is no right or wrong way to do ready to ship units because when I first started off doing ready to ship units, I actually used to just have my vendors send out the bundles and the closures and the frontals. And then I personally would sit there and do the units. But now I have um, learned that it's actually a little bit more easier to just have your vendor they make the unit for you and they just ship the units already made and honestly what i would do is just go ahead and style the unit which literally cuts down half the time for me even though it still costs 15 dollars extra to for the for my vendor to make the units but it still saves me on time which is you know amazing now again now as you guys can see, I'm doing a lot of customizing to my units because the whole purpose of ready to ship units is for you to, you know, design different wigs, like design with whichever different wigs that, you know, you think that your customers will like. It's honestly your time to, you know, be creative and get your creative juices flowing and everything. Now, me personally, the way that I design my wigs is I will have a save column in my Instagram and whichever unit that i see on my explore page i'll see a really nice you know wig hairstyle and i will just save it so i can know that okay i want to try out you know this wig and the funny thing is most of the designs that i you know do with my ready to ship units most of the time they're mistakes that i actually did and people end up loving them so that's one thing that i honestly have been learning so never be hard on yourself when you are trying out a different design and it doesn't work out nine out of ten the cus the customers will probably love it now if you're not on the creative side um so much honestly you can just sell the ready to ship unit just as is it just wouldn't be customized and honestly customers will still purchase the wig and in reality whatever it is customers will purchase wigs wigs sell in general so it doesn't matter if you design it yourself or if you just you know just do it as is it'll probably still sell at the end of the day now with me i kind of my whole brand or my whole you know yeah my whole brand is that me i like to have my wigs you know all customized and ready to go because i like my wigs to be ready to wear straight out the box because most of my customers they don't really they don't they're like first time wig wearers so they don't really know much about the wig units so i would i pride myself in you know making sure my wigs are ready to wear straight out the box but you personally do not have to do that One important thing you want to take into consideration when you are doing ready to ship units and you're having your vendor do it for you, I would highly suggest you build a good relationship with them first before you have them making your units so you know they can know exactly how you like it or how you want it because with my vendor, honestly, whatever I whatever I would like, whatever cap I would like to change and stuff like that, they will do it for me. Now, in the beginning, it was a little bit ro rocky because I wasn't sure how I wanted them, but it was a learning experience. And, you know, now I'm able to um, 
get my ready to ship units with no problem. So having a good vendor or a reliable vendor is very important because sometimes you would tell the, I've heard stories where they tell the vendor to, you know, put three bundles in and those vendors only put two and a half or they barely put two. So you always got to make sure you check on that and check up on that and if that does happen make sure you check your vendor or just find another vendor because you want to you know be able to trust the vendor and for the vendor to respect your business as well Now, if you are someone that, you know, is in the middle of, you know, starting or even thinking about doing ready to ship units or just started ready to ship units. And, you know, you see that it's not selling to it's not really selling or something like that. Do not worry. Honestly, I don't mind if the wig s sits there for weeks, if it sits there for, I don't know, like a month. It just makes sure that I personally do not touch my the income that I do get from my business. I kind of have it in its own account, so I don't use it. So I will always have extra money. So it's not like that I'm waiting for that sell from that unit to you know make ends meet so me whenever i do make that purchase that'll just be extra money that i have coming in it so it doesn't matter you know when the wigs sell because wigs do not expire wigs don't expire so they will be good forever how long they stay there as long as they eventually sell they will sell so don't even worry about if your unit has been sitting there for a while Another tip, if you are selling units and you see that, you know, some of your units are not selling or they're not selling, in general, I would highly suggest for you to get a mannequin. And honestly, I've learned this the hard way because I used to just do it in the regular dome, the dome heads, but I realized that the mannequin just added a different feel to, you know, my whole page. And I realized that my customers, they wanna see a face to the unit. Or if you don't have a, you know, you don't want to buy a mannequin, which I suggest you do, but you can honestly, you can be the mannequin, just style up the wig and just, you know, you wear it so the customer can see how it looks on a actual human. So it's good to, you know, showcase the wig on just living figure or a mannequin. I've learned that the hard way and I've seen a huge difference in my um, advertising in general and even the aesthetics on my page and one thing about it you guys i pride myself in the pictures that i take for my mannequins they always turn out bomb i get a lot of compliments on you know how i take the pictures and stuff like that so i would highly suggest you up your um you know pictures when it comes to you know taking pictures of your units because let's be honest we all buy or eat with our eyes so if something looks appealing or nice we're gonna nine out of ten probably purchase it so make sure you take pride in taking your pictures or just take your time and you know just make sure everything looks nice and pretty which is something that i really i do and i take pride in clearly <laughs> Please let me know if you guys like more videos like this. Make sure you guys give this video a big fat thumbs up so I can know to, you know, continue making more videos that are similar to this. And also make sure you guys go ahead and check out my business Instagram so you guys can check out these fire ass pictures that I just took. So you guys can see how I look down my TL. But let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful in any type of way. And also let me know in the comments if you are currently doing ready to ship units or if you're about to start or if you're thinking about doing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye loves.